we want to warn you now, some may find the video in this next story to be disturbing. A brutal high school fight. It put a student in the hospital with possible brain damage and another student in jail. Today, former Brashear High School student Quincy Garland appeared in court for a preliminary hearing on charges of felony aggravated assault, and KDK investigator Andy Sheehan was there. Garland's public defender says his client was merely trying to defend himself, but a witness testified he pile drove another student into the floor and repeatedly stomped on his head. Flanked by his public defender and out on bail, 18-year-old Quincy Garland appeared in municipal court for his preliminary hearing. Inside, prosecutors introduced into evidence this video of Garland picking up another student and slamming him to the ground. And although the student appears to be unconscious, the video shows Garland repeatedly kicking him in the head. After watching the video and taking testimony, District Justice Rick King held Garland for court. Definitely satisfied with the outcome. Substitute teacher Cameo Manel says he did not see how the fight started, but got involved when he saw three students in a tussle. After pulling one student away, he said he saw Garland kick the unconscious student five times in the head. But public defender T.J. Hanna argued the two other students had attacked Garland, and Garland was merely defending himself, saying, quote, he was jumped. This wasn't malice, this was self-defense. I would argue he was fighting off two attackers. But outside court, neither the attorney nor his client had anything to say. No comments. Mr. Garland has no comment to make. If you have any questions, you can reach out to the public defender's office. Are you saying that this was self-defense? We have no comment. The victim ended up in the hospital, and his mother testified her son appears to have suffered a brain injury, lacking the ability to form coherent thoughts or sentences. Excruciating headaches and, 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 and nausea, um, you know, waking up in the middle of the night, screaming, running down the stairs, not knowing where he is, disoriented. But the family says the January incident was the fourth time Garland had beaten the student, including this incident in a school bathroom in December, where he can be seen punching and kicking the student in a stall. The family says, despite their pleas, the school did nothing. We have a mother who reached out to the school on multiple occasions to ask for them to intervene and intercede in this, um, in this situation, and they just failed on all levels to handle it. Now, Garland faces a formal arraignment next month, after which this case will be headed to trial. Reporting at the Municipal Courts Building downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.